I would first like to uh, obviously, uh, you know, give Duke a lot of credit. Um, they got off to a hot start today. Uh, we just weren't good enough um, on the front end of the ball game, pitching-wise or defensively, and they made us pay for it. Um, you know, proud of the way that we fought back. Obviously, a great day for Justin Hawkins, young man that's been in the program. Hadn't had a ton of opportunities this year, but certainly made the most of his opportunity today. Hit a, you know, a big grand slam to tie the ball game and had another big hit later in the game that, unfortunately, we were unable to score on. Um, had to, Bo had to hesitate just a little bit and make sure that the ball cleared that their baseman was unable to score on that ball. Um, you know, I think the biggest thing for us today was, again, situational hitting. We had runners on second, third, but one out twice um, and didn't come up with a run. Had a shallow fly ball that, give their left fielder credit, made a good throw to the plate and had a strikeout in those two situations. And when you're playing in games like this, you you got to be able to chip in and capitalize um, and run scoring opportunities. Um, you know, after that, I thought Summerfield had some tough luck. You know, obviously, we, we, we didn't help him uh, defensively. I thought Sam Weatherly was outstanding for us uh, today. Uh, pitched very, very well. Uh, felt bad for Carson. Carson threw the ball very well. Just, you know, left the ball up uh, to, um, I believe it was Mervis, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and he put a good swing on it. And, you know, again, we, it, we're we just, uh, you know, again, I, I, I can't even explain it. Um, you know, Wilkie comes up in, in the ninth inning, and they're playing no doubles or left fielder. Uh, is right there on the warning track or, or right up against the hill and hits a ball that would have been out of the ballpark to tie it, and he robs it. Um, and then Davis hits the ball pretty deep in the left center field, put a good swing on the ball, and, you know, unfortunately we uh, we just came up short again and I think we've lost, you know, I know we've lost I think seven games in a row or whatever it is, but we uh, I think we've lost four of them by five runs. So, you know, again, we're we're going to be fine, you know, and I told the team that after the game today. We're going to be fine. We just got to keep showing up every day and competing. Uh, can't focus on the outside noise and, and all the frustration and all those things. Got to stay positive with our guys. Now, we have played good baseball this year, and we need to constantly remind our guys of that. And, and uh, hopefully we can get back on track this week on Tuesday. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, I thought the energy was fine today. You know, again, it was it was certainly tough early on. Um, you know, just uh, you know, we got got hit pretty hard early in the ball game, and and you know, we had a couple plays that he, that we didn't make. You know, we botched a rundown play and didn't catch a ball at first base that would have end the inning and those types of things. And you know, those are frustrating, but they're also physical mistakes. They're phys physical mistakes that that our players will learn and grow from. Uh, but I thought we did a, you know, obviously did an outstanding job there with two outs in the fifth. Just kept getting guys on base to give Justin Hawkins an opportunity. He got a good pitch to hit and he hit it out of sight. So. Um, but, you know, from that point on, it was just a matter of if we could get runners in scoring position, put a good swing on the ball. And, you know, Hawkins did that again uh, in the seventh inning uh, with the base hit to left field. And, unfortunately, we couldn't, couldn't score magic on that play. Uh, and that was our opportunity right there to be able to get the run in and uh, just, just couldn't find a way to do it. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know, obviously from the position player side, I think we've got three guys out with Kier Meredith, uh, Michael Green, and Bryce Teodosio. Uh, we'll find out a little bit more about Teodosio uh, hopefully tomorrow. He'll have a follow-up appointment. Uh, we're hoping that Kier and Michael uh, could potentially be back within two weeks. We certainly hope so. Uh, just to give us uh, certainly some options uh, in the lineup and two more left-handed hitters um, in our lineup. Uh, so, uh, you know, those those three guys right now, uh, it certainly would be nice to have them back just so we have a little more depth on the position player side and, and have some more options. Uh, but we're not going to make any excuses. There's no excuses to make. I mean, we just got to show up and, and, and just keep plugging away and keep competing. You know, teams have to deal with it. You know, every team has to deal with a tough time. You know, ours may be a little bit tougher than most uh, right now, uh, that's for sure. Uh, but it all starts with me. You know, again, I got to show up here every day. Uh, with a positive attitude, keep uh, continuing to, to push our guys uh, just to compete and try to take the pressure off of them. And, you know, right now I just think they're feeling a little bit too much pressure and trying to do too much. And I actually thought today, uh, once we tied the game up, 
from the sixth inning on, we looked like our old selves a little bit more. Um, you know, again, we were just one swing at a bat, uh, one opportunity away from, from winning the game. Uh, but, uh, you know, it didn't happen for us. So, you know, I feel for my guys. I really do. I feel for the kids today, um, you know, because we had an opportunity to win the game and we didn't. Uh, but hopefully, again, uh, we, can, uh, we can find a way on Tuesday to, to regroup and refocus and find a way to get back on track. As a coach, what can you do to try to relieve that pressure? It's really hard. You know, it's really hard. Uh, I think if you and, – and, and don't think I haven't reached out to a bunch of coaches, you know, over this time period just to get some advice myself. Um, um, I think sometimes talking about it um, all the time is, is, is non-productive. You know, I think that – the bottom line is, is a, a team is, is, is going to be as, as good as the leadership on its team and the players have to, have to lead the group. Um, you know, I'm here to try to give them advice, to try to encourage them, to try to coach them, obviously. But the last thing that I'm going to do is when we're when things are not going well for us, I'm not going to be just one more person kicking them in the gut. And I think that's the most counterproductive thing that can happen to a team is everybody kicking them in the gut when they're down. You know, these players show up here every day and work as hard as they can and um, and, and they give us everything they can. And their kids are 18 to 22 years old. Uh, so, uh, you know, the last thing they need from me is, is kicking them in the gut when they're already down. You know, nobody appreciates that. So it's my job to lift them up, uh, stay positive with them, keep working with them, uh, challenge them the right way. But, you know, they, we've got we've to, you know, lean on our leadership too. And I think we're doing that. It's not that I think we're not doing that. Our, the older guys on the team just got to keep, you know, pushing this team forward. And, and I fully expect that they will.